Hey guys, Zena Zebra here, and if you notice, we're back to my mess of a craft crafting desk, and there are all my customs. So I am going to be make showing you a how-to of how to make something else, but it's not an LPS custom. This one is sort of, sort of like a gift for a YouTuber, I like. Like Lightning Bliss, uh, My Little Pony YouTuber. So I'm gonna be making her adorable little. Hill, a bundle of rainbows, twink. Out of needle felt. So let's not waste any more time and get started. Okay, so for the uninitiated, needle felting is when you take like roving or unwoven together wool and you use a needle to poke it into shape. So, first things first, let's start with the top color, red. So what you have to do is take a felting needle and simply poke it, and it until it's done. It's best to ball it up really tightly so oh, it works. So. So when you hear that noise, it's a good sign. So you just keep poking and poking. It actually takes a while, it's a bit of a lengthy process. But, yeah. We're done with the red part. Next up is the orange, and I actually have this little t eh, trick for doing this. So next up is orange, which is going to be a bit tricky since I I don't exact exactly have an orange roving. But here's the thing: I mean, you can trick if your mind, or I guess sort of mix the colors together, or to get different colors. Like I. I, this mess, if I I do enough poking, it'll eventually become an orange. So let's not waste any more time and begin. Okay, next up, you just put the two parts together. And there we go, we have the orange. It may be a bit messy, but it's still orange. Time for the next step. Hello, next. Actually, we'll just. What I'm gonna do is just. A needle felt it right onto it.
And there we go, we got the yellow done. Let's move on to the green. But I'll need a moment. Let's move on to the green. Got the green. Next up is blue. And there we go. Almost done. So as I found out the the second to last color is not indigo, it's pink. Which is a great thing for me since I have pink. And if you're wondering, pink, or if you've seen me before, this is the same pink I used for my little nightmare, Akunu. So, let's add the pink. Okay, we got the pink. Now, finally, there's purple. Let's do this. Okay, final color, purple. There we go! We got the basic colors left. Next up is the eyes and the legs. Let's do this. Okay, now that we're finally done, let's do the eyes. So, what we do is you take a wispy piece of black robing and you we'll put it near the top. So it has to be extremely wispy because as it, as it le eats the fit. So you just poke it. So we got one eye. Now before we do it, it we're gonna add the eye shines, which means an ex extremely wispy piece of white. And then, and all you have to do is just poke it in. We got one an eye. Let's do the other. There we go. We got the eyes. Now let's do the mouth. So we take a long this. Then you start here. Well, okay, you might have to fold it over in order to make it actually able to poke.
we got the mouth. Now, it's the last part. His little nubby legs. So, now, what we do is we bunch up a bit, a bit together. It's gonna take a bit, but I can do this. That's gonna be all for now. Now tell me if you have any suggestions for a needle belting and maybe I can do it. Anyway. Hey, okay, like if you like it, comment on anything else I should do, and if you really, really, really like it, subscribe. It'll help the channel. Anyway, that's all for now. Stay awesome, peeps. This is Z the Zebra, signing out. Bye!